Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Kevin Trainer, and welcome to my brief introduction to um, advanced application development with uh, the, using application frameworks or Info 691 sections 212 and 213. Um, as you probably have figured out, I'm running behind in getting the content up for the course. I apologize for that. I had a particularly rocky day yesterday, including uh, it being uh, being sick for part of the day, uh, being called on a family errand for a part of the day, and then having my computer uh, uh, go into failure mode for the last part of the day. So uh, today's been a little bit better. Uh, I got a little bit more content up, but not everything that I had hoped. So I decided to just do a brief introduction here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do the full blown review all the syllabus review all the schedule, because I I don't really have all that up. But I will uh, talk about what we have here. Um, this is going to be a course in um, in using these. Uh, a application frameworks uh, generally, okay, we'll have a lot of discussion of, of the general features of these uh, uh, frameworks. As you probably already know, the framework that, that we're going to use is uh, Django. So um, there's, a, there's a lot of tools to get um, to get properly installed. And uh, originally I thought, well, week one, uh, we'll, you know, we'll dive right into um, either a tutorial or uh, a tutorial from the textbook, uh, something like that. And I've really thought that we'll do better to have a good instruction on how to install all these tools. So week one is really in addition to getting everybody introduced and getting the syllabus out there and the schedule out there, which I'm still working on. Um, it's time to get your machine configured for all the work that you're going to have to do. So right now I'm looking at, uh, on, in our, our window, I'm looking at the schedule for week one. Okay. And um, uh, here are the things that I want you to do. Uh, we're going to be working with... Uh, the distribution in, uh, of Python that comes with Anaconda, and that only gives not only gives us access to the Python interpreter um, and the libraries that go with that, but a lot of the libraries that are used for um, this uh, data science um, work in uh, Python. So uh, it's a very popular. Uh, a tool. Um, I've already recorded the tutorials uh, for how to download and install it on either Windows 10 or Mac OS. So that's the thing that you can get started on immediately. Uh, the next things that I'm going to record are uh, uh, how to install a Python, um, I'm sorry, a PyCharm a Professional. And PyCharm uh, Professional is this really cool IDE, this integrated development environment from a company called JetBrains, who's been making uh, good IDEs for years and years. And uh, this has a very strong f uh, following in the Python uh, community overall and a super strong following in the Django community. So that's why we're going to be using it. It's going to save us a lot of time. It's going to, um, it's going to really cut down on the number of mistakes that you're going to make. Uh, and uh, that's going to be important for having enough time to get your work done. Um, there's a free version of uh, PyCharm called uh, uh, PyCharm Edu, E-D-U. 
um, that's the community version. Uh, we can't use that. It doesn't have all the features that we need uh, for um, for Django. Uh, so we're going to use uh, a PyCharm Professional. And to get a free version of that, you need to go and sign up for a free student license. And all you really need is a a proper university email address. And I have a link here, JetBrains free individual licenses for students and faculty members. So click through on this as soon as you can and, and put the application in. Uh, um, I think this is something that takes a, maybe a little while to come back. So you're going to want to get get on top of this. Okay. In addition to being able to install uh, PyCharm, you can install all kinds of other things that they have, including uh, IntelliJ IDEA, which is their uh, Java uh, tool set, and RubyMine, which is their Ruby uh, tool set, and uh, WebStorm, which is their JavaScript uh, tool set, and PHP Storm, which is their PHP tool set. And having had this free license for university people, you can install just uh, PyCharm or all of them. Um, um, let's see, what have I done? I think I've got PyCharm. Uh, PyCharm is probably the only one I have now. You can also uh, do the educational version. So I download with this this license the professional and the uh, and the the educational version okay so get working on the application for the license uh, because it might take a day or two okay um, pretty soon maybe this evening maybe tomorrow morning depending upon how things go the day gets uh, shorter as we speak I'm going to be doing the uh, tutorials on installing uh, PyCharm and I'm going to try to get you oriented for um, not only for uh, regular Python projects, but uh, show you how to create a Django project as well. Okay, so that's coming uh, soon. I'm going to want you to learn about uh, Git. There's, there's a link here to the lynda.com course on Git. Uh, if you're not knowledgeable about Git, or if you only know Git at the command line, I'm going to recommend that you guys use the source uh, tree graphical uh, client for Git. Uh, and that's the next of the links that I have. Um, we do have a link on top of that here to a lynda.com course. And I'll just... Uh, kind of log on here through my UWM account. And this is a nice uh, sort of introduction to version control, introduction to Git, and it uses um, source tree. Uh, it even tells you how to install source tree. And it's a little out of date, but it you'll figure it out. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, this is worth uh, playing. And it's right there, uh, free for our use. Okay. Uh, I want you to install Source Tree. Uh, I don't think you need a, a, a special tutorial for that. And um, in using Git, we're going to use the. Um, we're going to use. It typically you use a remote repository. Uh, and there are uh, two very popular remote repository uh, providers. One uh, you've probably heard of is called GitHub. But the other one is called Bitbucket, and that's the one that we're going to use. I like the Bitbucket one because um, as a university person, you get a free license, and you're entitled to private... Um, you're entitled to some private repositories. And uh, I think that's probably what you want to begin to work with. So I have some instructions here on how to do that and a link to the site to go uh, sign up. Okay. 
Um, I have an early draft of the syllabus uh, uh, down here. Uh, how early? Well, this is the syllabus that I proposed um, uh, when I got the course approved. And I, I really, I'm really uh, gung-ho on everything that's in here except the schedule. Um, the schedule in here is a little too uh, aggressive. We jumped in week one right into chapters one and two of the of the um, um, the Django uh, 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 Unleashed uh, book, and uh, that's not what we're going to do here. You've already seen in week one, we're just going to be installing our stuff and getting ourselves up to speed. Okay. Um, the other thing is that before we jump into the Django Unleashed book, in weeks uh, two and three, I'm anticipating that we're going to do a tutorial. Um, the Django Unleashed book is one gigantic uh, tutorial, and it's a great one. I mean, it's really in-depth. It's really at, uh, oh... I would say it's a very high intermediate kind of a uh, kind of a level is uh, you, where it leaves you. Uh, the only problem with it is you're very slow to get to the end. Um, and um, when I uh, reviewed the book uh, over the summer, I um, over the summer and the uh, fall. I decided that it wasn't really getting to fun stuff fast enough. And uh, instead, it was giving us a really good in-depth kind of look. So in weeks two and three, we're going to do two tutorials that are from a group called the Django Girls. And um, let me just show you where those are. I don't have the links up yet. There'll be links in week two and week three. But we can just say Django Girls Tutorial. And there's one uh, tutorial. Uh, this is it here. Django Girls uh, it Tutorial. Uh, the, this is what we're going to do for week one. Um, and then if you go down to the end of this one, it says what's next. And there is uh, available um, Django Girls tutorial extensions. That's kind of their tutorial too. And uh, we're going to do that for week uh, three. And the reason I have you doing these things is that, um, number one, they're very good tutorials. Um, they're uh, every bit as good as, as, as the ones that are in Django Unleashed and you get to the end much faster okay uh, and then we're going to use the Unleashed book to refine our understanding of Django okay um, the Django girls uh, tutorials uh, uh, kind of here's the code it might look like m magic to you but it'll work so uh, put it in and let's get going Okay, so it's very much uh, a little bit of explanation, but a lot of magic. Uh, and you actually get to the end if you get something you can make work and get excited about um, in uh, a very short time. So that's the reason that we're doing those uh, two tutorials. But then um, the Unleashed book, I really believe at this point, I see as the refinement of our understanding of Django. Uh, one, two to kind of understand it more fully, okay? Uh, so that the code doesn't seem so magical. Well, uh, you know, by the time you finish a chapter in the Unleashed book, um, you can kind of see how this is actually Python that you're coding. Uh, and we can talk about, well, how that actually works. Uh, and it's not so magical. And then, of course, um, there are some finer points about the better practices in every chapter. Okay, so I like the Unleashed book, but that's going to be kind of step two for us. So we'll be going through, um, we'll probably be going through, if we go back to our schedule, right, that was in my uh, 
draft syllabus. We'll probably, I'm not sure we'll cover every chapter that we had in here. Um, we'll come close, but we'll be bunching them up a little bit more. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think that's going to work better for everybody in the long run than the idea I had when I put this uh, schedule together. So the week one schedule that we've been working on is certainly consistent with that. Uh, the rest of the stuff is all pretty consistent. Okay. One thing that I want to um, uh, call your attention to, and I think I already did to, some, to a certain extent, is this... Um, this uh, portal that I have, I have a portal for each of the classes that we use for um, you contacting me with requests and questions. And um, um, if you can't find your way to the portal, it's called uh, Ask Prof. Ask Prof trainer dot atlassian dot net yeah another atlassian product um and um um what actually happens is i'm already logged in as the administrator but I give, I give you links to the, um, I'm giving you links, I'm giving you dedicated links to the portal for our uh, class. So when you click on that, you're going to come to uh, a place where you have the opportunity to log in, or which is not here, I'm already logged in, so that's not really helping us. Uh, you have an opportunity to log in to our particular portal. Um, or you have the opportunity to um, uh, uh, to say that you need to set up a login. Uh, and it really, I'm hoping that this is going to give us a lot more. Oh, it's going to allow me to see your questions and requests uh, quicker and to track them to conclusion without uh, having them get lost in uh, the sea of email that I get every day. Okay. Um, this is about it. Um, the other thing to uh, take a look at is um, um, there's um, there's a place for you to introduce yourself. There's an introduce yourself uh, forum. Uh, so there's an assignment for the week to do that. Get working on that. Um, and uh, the two textbooks, uh, one uh, is the Pinkham book. That's uh, Django Unleashed. And this other one here uh, I've just I included. This is the Pro Git second edition book, which is the... Um, the most current version of uh, a pro git and it's online and it's free so you can go there as a place to bone up on git especially git at the command line um, can be hard to remember it's hard to remember for me so i find myself in here from time to time kind of using it as a cheat sheet okay so uh, that's it again uh the content's going to be coming up all week I apologize for the delays, but um, it's been rough. Um, I will uh, put this much up uh, today. Today is Monday, so I'll have this up uh, before the end of the day. And then I, uh, I'll get some more up tomorrow. So thanks for your patience. I'm really excited to have all of you in the course. Uh, keep in touch. Uh, I'm in my office on Mondays and Wednesdays, so if you want to drop by, those are good times. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.